Hello, welcome to vlog number two. Day two, 90 day getting organized challenge. How's it going so far? Well, I woke up late. I enjoyed my sleep. It was really hard to get up. I'm just trying to stay motivated. <laughs> It's gray out again today, so it definitely does not work well for that, but that's okay. Um, but I did get up. I actually had a busy day planned today. Um, this week I'm really focusing on just getting everything organized, so hopefully over the next, next week or in the next couple of weeks to start implementing some of these goals that I've had. So yesterday I set some goals. Yay! Um, I tend to set goals quite frequently. Whether or not they actually happen uh, depends on my mindset. So I do tend to definitely have a lot of no negative self-talk. And I'm gonna be honest, as of last night, I was ready just to take down the video. <laughs> I'm like, why am I doing this? This is not, this is stupid, this is crazy. And, but I started to remember the reasons why I was doing it. So basically, um, how I learn is to do things a few different ways. So I have to listen is the big one. So somebody tells me something, I probably remember it more. Most of the time, my brain is getting older, not gonna lie. Um, it depends on how busy things are and what I'm doing. Um, but then writing things down and just doing it, but it's repetitiveness. I They say it takes three weeks to learn a new habit. Um, I'm giving myself three months. <laughs> I'm going to work at this slowly. Um, I tend to get really excited, go all out, crash, and then stop doing whatever. So trying not to do that. I've been really trying to space myself. And I know that right now this week is all about getting organized, just figuring out what that looks like implementing little things throughout the day. Um, basically, for me, just being mindful of the things that I am doing. I tend to not know where things are when I put them down, or I don't even realize I'm putting things down. And then I'm like, where is that? And somehow other people seem to know, but I don't. And so just being a little bit mindful, slowing things down, I've been doing a lot of research on goal setting and just implementing Things. There was a post on one of the Facebook pages that kind of really started to kickstart me because uh, they were having the same issues that I've been having um, with just being able to complete tasks throughout the day and feeling guilty about it, um, feeling like I'm not contributing like what I should be doing. Um, so, but at the same time, I also know if I'm not going to get help, I can't do everything. I'm not a robot. And that's what I feel like I've had to be. So I'm not, <laughs> I've crashed multiple times. And so I know what my limits are. And right now I'm still trying to better that. Cause I mean, I know um, I don't want to crash all the time. So it's creating a schedule and a routine. And this is what I'm kind of starting to on today. Just really going through what I do on a daily basis, kind of figuring out what I do now, <coughs> sorry to what can I do to make it better? So starting just little little steps into doing this and really trying to implement more of my music into the day, um, which right now is very hit and miss because right now I've been more family focused, which will always be, it has to be, I know. Um, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just trying to find ways to, and where in my day is the better time because right now I just kind of sleep whenever the kids are sleeping, like when they're babies. Uh, we all tend to get up at the same time. And I know if I can wake up earlier, then I have that time. But if I'm tired, I'm just going to sit there. And so it's really trying to make the whole day better. I'm not good with concrete schedules, unless it's something like appointments where we have to go, we have to be there for a certain time. So um, that causes a lot of stress and anxiety for me, so I don't want that. <laughs> um, I'm trying, that's what I'm really trying to change as well. So I figured if I can start small and work my way up so I'm not crashing, that would be great. Because I do have a tendency to go all out and crash and give up. And I was ready to take down my very first video yesterday, but I was just excited to start it. 
obstacle one of vlogging, make sure your phone has enough space. Yeah. I, somehow my phone wasn't deleting space. So I would delete the pictures, uh, but it wasn't deleting from my phone. So uh, we had like a backup memory. So I had about 1300 pictures and videos, a combination um, from just over the last year that I thought I got rid of like a month ago and it totally was not gone. So uh, my husband tried to figure out that last night. So um, last night when I did my vlog, I was trying to do that throughout the day. I actually had done a vlog in the morning like I was going to, um, but it got changed to the night because you, you look back and you're like, I didn't like that. And then realize, why am I doing this? <laughs> But I know part of the reasons and just having to be able to remember and how I learn things. So I'm really trying to be mindful of things that I do now and trying to change some of it and maybe try to implement small changes. So today I made the bed for the second time in a row. Doesn't really affect me. My husband's going to get into bed earlier before I do anyway and the bed's going to be a mess. So, you know, every day I look at it, every task to me has been a chore. It has been just something else that I just never really felt that I could do. And this is where things are coming from. So the way I look at the world, the way I see things, um, my stress level has been so high for so long that anything that I have to do on top of what I'm already got set that I know I have to do is like, oh, oh my God. And it's exhausting. And I do, that's when I do start to avoid and start to just kind of go off and just not do it. Sometimes if I don't feel I can get it done, I just won't even start it. Um, sometimes I have so much energy that I go around and I start so many different things, but then it's like nothing gets done because <laughs> I started so many things and never actually finished them. So uh, yeah, that's been just kind of where it's been at. So I'm trying to slow my thoughts down, just slow down in general. Um, I'm pretty calm. I'm pretty chill. I'm actually spend a lot of time just sitting um, I'm trying not to do that. I really don't want to spend the next year sitting on my butt and watching it grow. Literally, I have like t-shirts like this that pretty much fit me, but nice clothes don't. And right now we can't even buy clothes unless you order them. And I refuse to order clothes online if I can't try them on because I know that sizes just don't, they, they're all different. And so I hate shopping and if I, I don't want to waste money on shipping. <laughs> That's just, for me, I don't get it. But unless it's like something that doesn't need to be tried on, then I'll order it. So uh, yeah, I don't have any clothes. So uh, part of my exercise challenge is to fit back into my clothes because I'm tired of buying new clothes every year that because, you know, the old ones don't fit anymore. So um, I that's where we're at. So yesterday I did my exercises. That was part of my goal is to get active again and just do something every day. It doesn't have to be a massive workout. Um, I do the stairs in my house. We live in a townhouse, so there's five flights of mini stairs. So I'm always walking and walking is great. Um, I did have a Charlie horse on Sunday morning and it really, really, like it was a pretty bad one and I'm still really sore. So yesterday I did some push-ups. I did some sit-ups and trying to um, end some planks. And today I'm gonna go to the chiropractor and hopefully um, that might help my leg because it still feels very tight. So I don't want to injure myself more. So that's where we're at. But I did set some goals. Day one was all about goal setting and just starting. And that's what I did. I went out, I bought a notebook. Um, it's downstairs. <laughs> and I bought my organizer for the family. Uh, eventually that will get filled out. Right now it's just stuff for me, um, getting them used to the idea of me doing this and being just different in the house because that's going to take some time for them to get used to and me. It's going to take time for all of us. Um, so they say it takes three weeks to learn a habit. I'm giving myself three months. <laughs> but I did set out some goals. I'm going to try some weekly tasks, some daily tasks, and uh, just starting small, just one little thing. And then maybe every week just add something else. Uh, this week is about getting organized just enough to just clean my house enough so that maybe next week I can start every day just doing one thing, versus, which is what I used to do, uh, versus trying to get it all in one day when 
um, the kids are like, oh, do this. And then it's a nice day. And it's like, oh, and then of course it sits for another few days. Um, and that's just, I'm trying to get a little bit so it's not so overwhelming. So hopefully soon that will be in place. Um, I've been reading a lot and doing some just um, people that have had some the same uh, executive functioning skill that I have, which lack very much. I can plan a wedding. I can plan different parts. There's some things that I'm actually really good at at home. So I'm going to um, definitely take those. Uh, my kids definitely come first. Uh, even they're like, well, is it more important to clean or is it more important to spend time with us? And spend time with them will always be uh, end up being more important because it is. And uh, believe me, they know when it's like, we need to do this so you can help and make it better or not. So yesterday when I brought up um, to my youngest about, you know, doing a daily task every day and helping out in the kitchen because the kitchen is something that, I mean, my parents live with us. We all have to use the space. It's not just me living here, um, but it is overwhelming and it's been very tiring and I haven't been in a great mindset over the last couple of years. So when I look at it, it's like, ugh. and I always clean. Like if I'm in the kitchen, I'm cleaning up. It just never gets fully done. So, and the way I look at things is sometimes if I'm on a task, I can't do other tasks sometimes. It really depends on what's going on in the day. Some days, if that's all that I have to do is cook one thing or go on a cook-a-thon like I'm doing today, then that's what I'm focusing on. And I can actually clean as I'm going. Whereas other times it's like, I'm just in here to cook. That's it. I, I'm in here to cook and nothing else is going to get done. And so um, for this week, I'm really like, I'm, if I repeated myself, I apologize. Just kind of look at how I do things this week and see um, where are the major things that need to be changed so I can just start changing little things over time. Um, if one of them is cleaning as I go, especially in the kitchen, um, right now, I did clean the kitchen yesterday. I was so proud. Um, I'm actually going to be posting things on Instagram as well, just some of the things that I do out throughout the day um, besides these vlogs, and I'll have them as well. Um, so I did actually accomplish all my goals for yesterday, and that was to exercise, which I did. It wasn't big, but at least it was something. And I set my goals. I got org an organizer. Hopefully, it will work. We've had these before. I tend to forget so I'll make a list and I forget to look at it or um, I lose it or I put it somewhere and I can't remember where it goes so this way it's pretty big so <laughs> it's not just small I know feels I put it on the fridge or this I really I don't know why I just don't see things all the time or I forget that it's there so yeah that's that's where we're at <laughs> so hopefully um, I'm, I'm really excited and I know my family is too. My husband needs everything basically put away. Um, and I know what a nice clean house feels like. It does feel different. I need something, I need everything out so I can remember it's there. So uh, there might be some decluttering every year for the last couple of years throughout the year. I've been um, just going through stuff, getting rid of stuff and it does feel different. It feels good. So I know what a nice room, clean room feels like. Right now with my parents being here, we are living out of baskets that my, our dresser is still in the room. They weren't supposed to be here this long. It was only supposed to be a few months. It's been almost two years. Actually, it has been two years now. So it's just, you know, figure out ways so that um, at least it looks better. Um, the one thing that I can keep up with uh, on a weekly basis is the laundry. We all need clothes, we all need towels. That seems to be probably the easiest. I put it in, I take it out. Sometimes it sits in the dryer for a while or in the washer. I have forgotten about it before and I had to rewash it, but for the most part, I'm pretty good at doing that. And then they stay in the basket <laughs> until they're like, I need this. Have you washed them yet? I'm like, no, but you know what? Maybe we should really teach you how to do this. Cause to be honest, I don't want my kids being lazy lazy boys when they grow up and lazy men. So I want them to know how to help their wives as well and uh, my husband tidies one thing he is good at is tidying and i do the cleaning so our that's the other thing especially if you're married is you to be cohesive we each have different views of things and so for him his view of a clean house is just pick up everything whereas me i'm like to me being a clean house is the vacuuming the dusting you know cleaning the bathrooms and 
obviously having it tidy, um, but tidying up is overwhelming for me. So he does that, which is great. And he does vacuum. Um, he does help out by the way. <laughs> He's pretty good that way. Um, he will actually go uh, in the kitchen and, you know, tidy up the kitchen, stack everything and uh, make it a little bit easier. And then I go in and it'll take me two and a half hours to three hours, uh, sometimes longer, depending on how bad it is to clean up. And it depends on how busy. Over the weekend, I, I mean, I was streaming a lot. So when I'm not streaming, I stream for like four or five hours sometimes. And so after that, I have to sit with my kids, um, especially my youngest. He's like, cuddle, play, whatever. Like, so yesterday I played Roblox. It sucked. Oh, it's going to be, yeah, I, I'm really bad. He was like, mom, you're not done that level yet. I'm like, no. It took me over half an hour to finish one level. It was hilarious. But, um, so yeah, like he needs that attention as well. So some things just don't get done. And that's where my organization lacks a bit because we do a lot of tomorrow and then I'll forget tomorrow. Like yesterday I went to the store. I forgot a magic eraser. I forgot something else that I'm going, oh yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> so, you know, it's just finding ways for that kind of stuff. So today was a cook-a-thon day. I, because I got up late, one of the things I wanted to make, I wasn't able to do today. So I'll do that tomorrow. We have a dehydrator. I bought some mangoes yesterday, so I was all excited. So today I did cook chicken fingers. I made some paleo ones and, or just basically no breading. <laughs> so I made breaded ones and non-breaded ones and I made a video of it. So that will be uploaded uh, today or tomorrow. And I'm gonna be making meatballs. Um, the ones that my son can have and um, we're gonna do spaghetti and meatballs for dinner and the chicken fingers will be gone in like an hour <laughs> but um, so yeah and then I wanted to dehydrate mangoes but they take about 10 to 12 hours and I don't like leaving the machine off and when they cool down I don't want them leaving out all night so um, because I woke up late it was about one o'clock when I saw them but by the time I cut up all the mangoes and put them on there it was I'm um, probably going to be two and I'm like, oh, that's two in the morning. Not happening. So they're really easy. Uh, but I could like spend two hours and cook three different uh, types of proteins. And usually that's what I'm pretty good at is going in the kitchen. And on these days, that's all I do and or spend like an afternoon. And just once the food's gone, I just make a bunch. That's how we we go out. Everybody's on different eating schedules. We don't have scheduled times. We probably should, but uh, because everybody gets up later, breakfasts and lunches tend to be a little bit different and dinner is different, especially if my husband works, he's not always home at the same time. And up until last year, we were out three times. I was out at least three times a week in the evening. So we st I started being able to just pre-make a lot of food and it sits in the fridge and that way it's there when everybody's hungry. So that's one thing I, I give myself a thumbs up. <laughs> and the laundry. I can do the laundry. At least it gets cleaned is what I say. So yeah. So that's why my, my schedule for today and my list of today was to start kind of being a little bit more mindful of how I do things and seeing what I could change and seeing how to make things better and... Um, see where I could fit in uh, my music because I do want to make a video today which I'll be doing later on and I think I'm going to make a video on how to make the video. <laughs> this is one of those videos that I'm actually putting pictures to. I made a meditation so that'll be out soon on my music channel and once it's done I will upload it. So I thought that would be kind of a neat video, something different that I haven't done yet and start trying to do some of more my tutorials, which I've been wanting to do as well for a while. So uh, that will be later on tonight once I finish, but I do have to go to the chiropractor. So I'm gonna go down, take out my chicken and check out it um, because I had to make them in two different things. So, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And uh, I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to keep going. I almost talked myself out of it, like I think I said already, so I apologize. Um, but uh, yeah, I almost took down it and just said, uh, screw this. <laughs> Day one. <laughs> Not very good, but um, I know how I think this will help me really keep motivated and get myself off my butt. 
so this goal I'm being I'm good today was I'm tired but I'm doing well so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the chiropractor I'm going to go finish the see how the chicken's doing I'm gonna meet some meatballs spaghetti for dinner um and then later on I'm going to do my video and I'm going to make a video of how I made the video and then I'm going to upload it. So we'll see if that gets actually completed. I'm going to start it at least. So we'll see how that goes. So hope everybody has a good day and day two, uh, basically sending, just kind of researching myself and being more mindful. And I think uh, we're doing well that way. And I did set my goals. I did finish them. Um, so hopefully today I'll get my exercise in. I am going to get my exercise in. Daily exercise is good for you. It doesn't have to be, you know, huge or anything. It just, just get moving, right? <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you again soon. Have a good done. Good day. Good one, everybody. <laughs> Stay well.